All right, you guys, if you've ever been to a Carpetbaggers comedy show, then you obviously know this guy. It's Jeff Greenspan. How are you, Jeff? I'm good. How are you doing? I am doing so great. Okay, I've told everyone this before, but in case they do not remember, what is it that you guys do over <laughs> at your comedy show? Because it is so funny. I've been. It's amazing. Thanks. It's great that you came. Uh, so on the first and third Friday of every month, it's called the Carpetbaggers Comedy Night. And so there's always uh, one New York comic on the lineup, and then the rest are Southeast favorites, comics from Knoxville, Nashville, Atlanta, here in Chattanooga. And uh, we do it from um, 9 to 10.30 at night. And from 8 to 9, we have a magic show to get the audience ready for the show that starts. And we're moving to a new location up and we've been here. We've been doing it in Chattanooga for almost three years. Yeah. It's always been at the Bode Hotel, right. but the Bode Hotel got sold to the DeFore brothers. I think they're buying the studio in a couple of minutes. Yeah, I think. probably tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah. And so uh, the new hotel just didn't have a, a room for us to be in. So we're moving to a place called Humanot. Humanot is a production company over on the south side at 1404 Coward Street. And uh, they have a performance space in there. And we're going to be doing the show in there starting June 16th. And we've got um, Bitter Alibi doing yeah. the drinks for us. So we're really excited because there won't be hotel tax on the drinks anymore. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so drinks will be a little cheaper. You can drink a little more, maybe laugh a little bit more. And uh, we move into our new location on the 16th. How do you feel about moving to your new location? Well, I've loved the boat. It's been great. It's kind of been like a, f a family uh, that we've created at that show. But Humanot is actually the company that brought me to Chattanooga in the very first place. Very cool. And they're the ones that housed me at the boat when I first moved to Chattanooga. So yeah. it's kind of come full circle. So I'm sad to, to, to leave what we've made like into like a real party atmosphere, uh -huh. but I'm really excited to kind of have it come full circle. The people who brought me to Chattanooga are now housing the show that kept me here. That's so cool. Now, Jeff, something I love about you, you're from New, are you born and raised in New York? I was born in Brooklyn. Okay. I was raised on Long Island and He's I spent most of my life in Manhattan. He's a New Yorker. And when you think comedian, you're like, oh, they're living in New York. So the fact that you have come to Chattanooga given us the opportunity to experience this New York comedy that you guys are so well known for and you bring in folks from New York but you're also like let me explore the South and oh, yeah. find the best comedians and you do such a great job of mixing in everyone. Yeah well I've been really lucky that so many good comedians from the Southeast want to be part of the show but that was really the idea could could comedy bring together supposedly these, these supposedly the the different forces. The South. Yeah I mean the reality <laughs> is we have so much more in common than than you know the media likes to make it seem like North and South are always at odds with each other but through comedy we've been able to find that we have a lot in common and we can laugh at the same things as long as we're laughing at ourselves. I know? love that I love that and y'all y'all do it's hilarious hilarious you guys like stomach di like I'm dying Ab <laughs> you will have a six pack afterwards I was laughing so hard and I'm not well, I don't know it. where mine went then, <laughs> yeah, but crazy I mean, yeah. me neither yeah. um there's also something that you guys are doing over at Josh's Barbershop. Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, my, uh, my friend, another comedian here in Chattanooga, Andrew Ledbetter, we're creating a pop-up show at the Scouts Barbershop yeah. on Market Street, and that's going to be on June 24th. And that one is $20, but you get $10 off a future haircut when you go to that show. How so, do you feel about getting money off of a haircut? I feel, I, I feel like it's a hate crime. This whole show <laughs> is, is a bit of a hate crime against me. But uh, you can get tickets to that one at Eventbrite. It's called uh, Close cut comedy yeah. and the carpetbaggers comedy tickets you can get at carpetbaggerscomedy.com and uh, we've had the carpetbagger show has had like over 50 sold out shows in a row the scouts barbershop show this will be the first time we do it but we're super excited the, I, I get my beard trim there I don't there really get go. I don't get too much haircuts <laughs> there but I do get my beard trims at uh, at scouts and uh, they're super great and fun and they're down to do something kind of weird and, and, and different so we're excited to see how that goes I love that Jeff you make the community smile we appreciate oh, that thank about you very you. much thanks for being here today thank you for having me